Remember when I said I was not no. responding to your videos? That's right, Major. You did. I lied. So I just woke up, and the first thing I thought about doing was responding to another Riley Dennis video. Even after I said I wouldn't. But then I saw his new video, and the stupid is substantial. This is what I'm doing with my life. It's just a little peek into how much of a loser I am. You know how sometimes people say something and there's a meaning beyond the literal interpretation of their words? Like if there's context or history or tone or something else behind their words. Sure, some people even do it in moderation. When we use language, we very often mean stuff beyond the literal interpretation of our words. When I say it's raining cats and dogs, I don't actually mean that pets are falling from the skies. Give this man a gold star! So, with all of that in mind, it's important to know that the phrase it's okay to be white is racist as shit. What? I can't hear you. It's okay to be white is racist. Shut the fuck up! I know it may sound innocent to some of you, but it's a dog whistle. It's a phrase that would fly under most people's radar, but would signal to a certain group of people. That certain group of people being the triggered. The phrase it's okay to be white recently gained notoriety thanks to the garbage can of the internet, 4chan. <laughs> recently meaning like a year ago? Do we even know who is this 4chan? Chan. White nationalists and neo-Nazis on that site designed the phrase specifically to try and piss off people on the left and make white people look like victims. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. wrong. They wanted to make the public sympathetic to their imaginary cause of white people as a group being oppressed. They desperately wanted to be victims. And frustratingly, they've kind of succeeded. <laughs> Have they? Have they really? Flyers with the phrase have been plastered around colleges in the US. Some asshole was actually paid money to give an it's okay to be white speech at the University of Connecticut. And white nationalist Tucker Carlson cried about it during his segment on Fox News. White nationalist Tucker Carlson. White nationalist Tucker Carlson. White nationalist Tucker Carlson. Please. Whoa! <laughs> yes. Can you just prove it? Okay, it must be true. Amazing. The Anti-Defamation League has found much earlier usages of the phrase, including in a 2001 song by a white power band, in white supremacist flyers from 2005, and a KKK member tweeted the phrase in 2012. Setting aside my lack of fucks to give, that little link you put in the description from the ADL, really cute, thinking that you could provide accurate proof for anything, by the way. So adorable. But that link provides zero proof of anything Thing you just said. As for the others, they're completely irrelevant because 4chan set this up as a way to troll people like you. And I gotta be honest, it's working. Sorry, I can't do Riley Dennis's voice for shit. If you consider yourself to be against racism, then you should probably want to distance yourself from a phrase that has deep roots in white supremacy and neo-Nazism. Oh, you hear that black folks? Fagnito says nigga is canceled because it's rooted in white supremacy. Words can no longer have two different meanings. And by the power of Fagnito, we must obey. Like, okay, literally word for word with no context, it's okay to be white is true. But knowing that it has more meaning behind it, knowing that it's a racist dog whistle, that should be enough for you to say, no, fuck this, fuck that phrase. It's racist and I don't want to have anything to do with it. Yeah, the phrase is technically harmless, but fuck that. It's racist anyway. Riley, was that really your Adam's Adam? Apple or just your brain escaping through your neck? It's really not that hard. Don't give these people the time of day. Don't give them the time of day, except for a six minute video humiliating yourself over it. That's fine. Don't get into an argument about whether or not it's okay to be white, because that's not the discussion. Literally nobody is saying that it's not okay to be white. <laughs> You are a member of a group that oppressed black people for a long time and continues to do so today. If a black person says white people are horrible, I'm really white. It's just an expression of anger against an oppressor group. Sure, you're not directly responsible for slavery. I'm really white. But you continue to benefit from the oppression of black people which has had its roots in slavery. That's a fact. Why do you have a need to insert yourself there and defend yourself? Anyway, the point of this video is that not all white people bullshit. I just don't want it to come across as like, I'm one of the good ones. And what's frustrating about this is that the racists who hide behind this phrase know that context matters. They know exactly what bullshit they're pulling. For a person with paranoid personality disorder, almost everyone 
is a source of suspicion and mistrust. It's okay to be white is racist as shit. They also tend to read hidden malicious meanings in casual remarks. Because when they see the phrase Black Lives Matter, they infer a whole lot of context about that phrase. Because taken literally, Black Lives Matter literally cannot be offensive. It's just a statement of fact, and if you disagree with it, you're saying that Black Lives don't matter, which would be a really shitty thing to argue. Everything has a different meaning, unless it's a meaning that I don't want to know! Ha ha ha! Most people people do not disagree with the phrase Black Lives Matter in itself. Because the problem is not the phrase, it's the people who are spouting the phrase. Pigs in a blanket! Fry like bacon! You the only fucking cop! Well, it's a tweet from Black Lives Matter co-founder Yusra Kogali that has raised eyebrows. Please, Allah, give me strength not to cuss slash kill these men and white folks. But I guess all this shit just fell out of the fucking sky. For an example of how important context is, let's run through a hypothetical situation. Ooh, ooh, will this be as insightful as when you compared black people to peasants? Because that got me so wet. Let's say you get coffee with your friend, and they say they'll pay for your drink in exchange for you paying for their drink next time. So you agree, and they pay for your drink. Now, a few days later, you both go to get coffee again. When you go up to pay, your friend is waiting for you to pay for their drink, but you don't. When they ask why you're not paying for their drink, you say, Look, I only think it's fair that when we get coffee, we both pay for our own drinks. You shouldn't expect me to pay for your drink. You're ignoring all of the context that led up to that interaction. Because yeah, it would be weird if your friend just randomly expected you to pay for them. But there's history and and context there. The people today who are saying it's okay to be white are the ones who ignore history. Remember that really shitty Justin Timberlake movie where time was a form of currency? Let's let's play with that a little bit. Say a white person, 25 years of age, was asked by a black person who was also 25 years of age to pay 400 years of their own life to reimburse years of black oppression. That exchange of currency wouldn't be possible because they're asking for more years than the white person is able to give. Not only that, but this black person is also claiming to be a representative of people who have since passed on 400 years ago. So basically they're asking for years they've never had, didn't earn, and have no intention on earning. So with all that being said, going back to your coffee analogy, because that was so fucking brilliant, if the black person asks the white person to buy coffee for people who have since been dead for 400 years and couldn't possibly enjoy said coffee, then they're doing it for their own selfish need for coffee, which would make that black person a mooching, manipulative freeloader. Class dismissed. Or like, imagine how annoying it would be to have a friend who just constantly says it's okay for them to do stuff that is obviously okay. Like you sit down to play Mario Kart and they go, it's okay for me to play as Mario. Like, okay, who said you couldn't? Stupid horse. Ugh. At some point, it would get really fucking annoying and you would tell them to sh SHUT THE FUCK UP! You are the authority on annoying. Labeling someone racist for saying a simple phrase is pretty fucking irritating. They already know that all those things are okay, and they know you know it too. They just want to provoke a reaction out of you. And you're more than willing to provide one sea biscuit. They want to start conflict where none exists. They want to be victims and to have all the attention on them and how hard life is for them because they're not allowed to just state facts. The truth is, you're allowed to constantly declare that shit everyone knows is okay is okay. But don't be surprised when everyone thinks you're an annoying piece of shit because of it. And one of the most ironic parts of this for me, just on a personal level is that people constantly accuse me of always wanting to be a victim. Uh, why? 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 But like, I benefit from white privilege. I'm not anywhere near being oppressed in terms of race. So when talking about race, I do anything but play the victim. Oh no, 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 no. You see, this white privilege you like to flaunt around, that only reinforces your victim complex. You see, one of your fucking problems is you like to play the victim on behalf of others. And in spite of dead ass fucking admitting that you have white privilege and are completely out of touch with these topics, you continue to present yourself as some kind of authority on these topics. And that's why no one fucking likes you. Especially me. <laughs> you have the fervent audacity to demand respect. You don't give a shit about minorities. If you did, you would give a modicum of respect to the subjects you're talking about. I'm just a dumb white person. Forgive my ignorance. All right, so if you are inept in this shit, 
then why do you keep making these fucking videos? The only thing I or anyone else can ascertain from this shit is the fact that you love hearing the sound of your own voice. That you're basically a, just a transgender Onision. I mean, are you doing it for the money? How much more money do you need to make yourself look more like a starving stallion? Or do you need the money to obtain powers to make your girlfriend forget that you have a penis? Like, I don't know. Somebody explain this shit to me because I don't get it. I admit that I am afforded benefits because of the color of my skin that people of color are not. That's an easy reality for me to accept. Of course, because that's the only way you can validate your existence is by cribbing off of everybody else's fucking struggle. Duh. Well, the time has finally come and this is gonna be fun to say. Suck it up, snowflakes. No one cares about your it's okay to be white flyers. <laughs> Your desire to be a victim in a country that systemically favors you in every way possible is hilarious and saddening. Hilarious and saddening should be the title of your autobiography. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can subscribe by clicking over here, or you can support me on Patreon by clicking over here. I feel sorry for the 12 year old otherkins maxing out their parents' credit cards just to pay for your weak ass videos. The video I said I would never fucking make, I've made it. It's out there, it's done. And if you want more broken promises, share this video, smash that like button, subscribe, donate, or become a patron on Patreon. And uh, don't worry, I'm still working on my Beauty and the Beast review. That's gonna be out one of these days. So bye-bye, you awesome people.